lot of good the extra daylight does us. Now, we've still got a three-hour drive back. We're not going to be home until after midnight. Well, if it really bugged you, Johnny, you wouldn't do it. You think I want to blow Sunday on a scene like this? You know, I figure we're either going to have to move Mother out here or move the grave into Pittsburgh. She can't make a trip like this. Oh, I don't think she can. Is there any of that candy left? No. Look at this thing. We still remember. I don't. You know, I don't even remember what the man looks like. Johnny, it takes you five minutes. Yeah, five minutes to put the wreath on the grave and six hours to drive back and forth. Mother wants to remember, so we trot 200 miles into the country, and she stays at home. Well, we're here, John, all right? I wonder what happened to the one from last year. Each year we spend good money on these things. We come out here and the one from last year is gone. Well, the flowers die. And the caretaker or somebody takes them away. Yeah, a little spit and polish can clean this up. Sell it next year. wonder how many times we bought the same one. Praying's for church, huh? Come on. I haven't seen you in church lately. <laughs> well, there's not much sense in my going to church. Do you remember one time when we were small, we were out here? It was from right over there. I jumped out at you from behind a tree, and Grandpa got all excited, and he shook his fist at me, and he said, Boy, you be done to hell. <laughs> remember that? Right over there. Well, you used to really be scared here. Johnny. Well, you're still afraid. Stop it now. I mean it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it. You're acting like a child. They're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. He'll hear you. Here he comes now. I'm getting out of here. Johnny! 